my foliar feeding on this Christmas tree loquat. We're gonna try, it's very important to get front and back of the leaves. While we're doing that, we're gonna show you uh, a tour of our garden for 2018 and see what's going on. Okay, so we're gonna show you some of our other trees. Here is our star fruit. And back here, that we're also going to pull your feed, is a Carolina Reaper and a Chocolate Carolina Reaper plant. Pepper. Pepper. And, the best pepper in the world. Yeah. And right here is our yellow passion fruit, which is doing really well, as you can see. It's only, we've only had it for like a year, and uh, he's, he's growing so big. And... I'm not going to get into too much detail about this, but these are our many varieties of dragon fruit that um, have grown really tall as you can see, and they're going to get protected by this castor bean that's still growing right here, and this proving apple cactus, and they're looking pretty, and it's looking pretty well. Back here is... Is our is our that my mango, which as you can see is is uh, uh, flowering and growing mangoes. We don't want it to do this, but uh, it wouldn't stop flowering, so we just let it do it because it bet it was like begging to flower. And since it's not doing really well in the sun, as you can see, we placed some castor beans all around it. Ooh, and look in here. We actually got some flower pods starting to pop out on that one. And yeah, thanks, this is it. We're done with the front area. Let's see what's growing on in the back area. This is our tropical section in, of our side yard. And as you can see, we put up a shade cloth to help it, to help all of our trees from the sun. Here, uh, we fully repeated this tree. This is our black sapote, and it's already doing so much better. You see all this new growth. It's like super healthy with these these flower pods, these flowers that are coming, and it's. And it's just crazy how much the foyer feeding has helped it. It's one of our best growing trees we've had so far. And right here is our coconut cream mango. And when we first got it in um so when we first got it in March, it was only this tall. And look how much it's grown. It's grown this tall since we first got it. And back here, it's related to the black sapote. It's the persimmon, which... What kind of persimmon is it? it? It's um, a fuyu persimmon. And it, it, it hasn't really like grown, but it's not dying. And it's not like doing much, but it's still, it's still okay and living. Right here, and right here is our star cherry. star cherry and our peanut butter tree, which actually tastes like peanut butter. And this star cherry actually looks like star fruit and kind of tastes like it. And also, here's just some lemongrass right here, as you can see. And we got some beets right there. And... It's not doing too good, but it's not doing bad. It's our fruit punch mango. And, well, it's kind of dying back, but it's not really like, it's not like going. It's about the same as we got it. It's not the same, it's not the same when we got it. It was just like this tall when we first got it. So this was just new growth that, growth that died. And like back here, our 
uh, ice cream bean, which doesn't look too bad at all. It's actually doing really well, as you can see. And we also have a Java de Cava right here, which is doing really well. It's growing slow, but that's okay because it's a, supposed to. But it got all this new growth starting to come up all over the place. The leaves look really cool. And back here, we have our sweet tart mango, which is looking okay. It hasn't had new growth yet. It's the only one out of all these mangoes here that hasn't tried to have new growth. But it's it but it's not it's not like bad. It looks really good for a sweet tart mango. And last but not least we have our avocado tree which is doing really well i actually thought when we first got it that it was gonna like die back but it actually survived and it's starting to do really good it's already got all this new growth as you can see right here and for, to protect it from the shade you can see we have all all of these castor beans all over it uh, along with this corn flower which is do it, which it, it's looking really good because of all these things we have right here. Right here is our grapefruit, which uh, hasn't grown much. It actually came without, so we don't know what variety it is. But uh, it is starting to produce right here. And some of it is producing like down there. It's hard to see. But yeah, it's also producing down there. And... So right here is a white mulberry and it's looking really good and tall. And look at me please. Of, and one thing kind of crazy is if you look back here, the passion fruit just completely went nuts and, and ripped a branch off of this mulberry. And it's just like destroying it. And here's the actual passion fruit right here. And it's doing really well. I, I'm, re I'm really surprised of how well it has been doing. Here is a tiger fig, which is starting to produce some figs all over, which I'm really excited for. It's looking really good. Like all these figs that are on it is looking really good along with our blackjack fig and i think they're starting to turn a little bit black but probably not but yeah they're also looking really good same with our honey fig peterson's honey fig which is start has like all these branches with all this fruit like look at this branch right here it has like a stock of figs all over it and back here, it's harder to see this little guy. But here is our LSU purple. He's starting to try to produce some, but I don't, he doesn't look too good, but he, he doesn't look too bad. And right here is our ghost apple with our Fuji apple. And the ghost apple is actually doing better than this Fuji. It's like, Growing tall. It was like this tall when we first got it. It was like a stick. And look at all these branches that have started to grow onto it. Back here, it's, it's looking very good. We have some. Don't skip. Don't skip. We have. Don't skip. Oh, and back here, we have some passion fruit that is actually growing onto the tree. And it's really looking good. And. Right here, we have a little pomegranate, which is starting to grow. And also, we have a mulberry. What kind of mulberry? Um, what kind is it? Pakistani. Pakistani. And there, it's this beautiful purple mulberry that is like this long. They can get like this long. It hasn't produced any mulberries for us yet, but it's it's growing it's like this time we got it back here is a jujube it had no growth there was a stick when we got it but it's starting to grow really well what kind um 
it's a That's it. Read it. Zizfus Juju. G A eight six six. Juju. Say G A eight six six. G A eight six six Juju. There you go. Right here is a little banana that my dad planted, and it, it it's like growing super well. It's doing really good. What kind is it? It's a praying hand. What? Praying hand. It's a praying hand, which I think is a really cool name for this banana. Right here is a little hibiscus. Um, it, it, it has like this fruit inside of it. I forget which, what, it, what, what kind of it, it it's called, but Jamaican, it's Jamaican hibiscus and it's growing these little fruit inside of it that are starting to turn red. So we got, uh, uh, so we're gonna sh show you our bananas. Here is the dwarf Cavendish and the ice cream banana. This one's had about four pups and this one's had about two pups in total. Right here is another little jujube. It's not looking good, it's not dry. We're not sure what kind it is. It's an AR. We got it at the Arizona Rare Fruit Growers sale. Yeah. Okay. And back here is another jujube. It's on a week, sadly, but it's still green, so we're hoping it will survive. What kind is it? Um, it's a honey jar jujube. Right here. Um, what? Uh, is this a? Mexican cream. Mexican cream. Guava. Guava. And it, it's doing really good. Like, for a guava, this is really pretty. You need to pump a lot more. And back here, my brother is fully filling this right now, but this is a lemon guava, which is also doing really good, along with these two little guavas that are down here. This is our lemon tree. Wait. No, this is our uh, Moringa. Moringa, which is doing really good. We got it from Gita back at her house. In Chandler. In Chandler. Off of a 25-year-old Moringa. Off of a 25-year-old Moringa, which is really big if you want to go back and see that video. Here is a lemon tree. And it has all these lemons on it. And when we first moved here, it wasn't as tall, but it's super good and producing really well. Now, here is our red jujube. Jabba de Kaba. Red Jabba de Kaba. Jabba de Kaba. And it's, it's growing really well, as you can see. And this is one of my favorite trees. It, we got it uh, when we moved to this house. It's a ginormous orange tree, and it's not. It's producing some little fruit that is trying to come onto it. If you can see any. And here, over here, is our tangelo, which is producing all sorts. Look at me. Of fruit, fruit, citrus that are really good. Right here is our white chipotle. We planted all these castor beans around it to help it uh, get some shade because as you can see, it's starting to die. And here is a Hold little on. castor bean. Tell us the good news about the white chipotle. Uh, it's starting to get this little new growth, if you can see It there. completely died back when we transplanted it. We are almost ready to give up on it, and now it's coming back to life, so we're happy. Yeah, really happy. And right here is another little passion fruit. He's still really small, but he's grown a lot since when we first got him. Where are we going to let it grow? We're going we're gonna to let it grow all over this fence, which will make this fence prettier because it's looking, it doesn't look very good. We're going to, here's a giant pineapple palm that we got with the house. It's actually a kind of date, but 
the fruit, the, it's not like super good fruit, but I've tried it before and it's not bad at least in nurseries. So, there, see all this green right here? That is all new growth from when we full year feeding it. When, from when we were full year feeding it last. We got this Jamaican cherry as a cutting about as big as above my hand in uh, January of this year. And it's grown, it's now June. It's and grown it, this much. Yeah, it even has these ginormous cherries that are growing all over it. That full year feeding stuff on this cherry is amazing. Like it's better than anything else. It's growing faster than any other tree. Down here, we also full year feeded these. These are some of our other varieties of cherries along with our cherry of Rio Grande. Cherry of Rio Grande, which hasn't grown. <laughs> hasn't grown much, but the foliar feeding kind of helped it like uh, help it help its leaves. And I'm surprised it's still that small. We got it like in January. It's crazy. Okay, there's two other types of cherries down here that you skipped. Um there's also this little cherry right here, which is growing out these this giant arm and it's crazy. What kind is it? Just tell us the uh, kind, buddy. It's 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 a Sumerian. Sumerian. Sumerian cherry. And right here is the here Barbados. Is a Barbados cherry, which is also doing really well. Let's show you some of our other plants. And we got the big Jimbo clot and the unknown quad seedling. And, and they're doing really well. And here's my favorite. We got these papaya, which are really looking Say nice. that again. Uh, papaya. Okay, good. Your accent was awesome. And stop spraying for a second, Riker. And it's looking really good. The foliar feeding has helped it a lot. What kind do we have? Uh, we have the A R F G papaya. Arizona rare fruit grower. Papaya. We also have the. Ten However you say that. Papaya. Ten young papaya. And a TR honey papaya. And a TR honey papaya. It's kind of cool because this one's like different than all the other papayas. That it has these giant leaves and look, these ones have these weird looking leaves. And here's one of our castor beans I wanted to show you. It actually has some seed pods right there. And we're hoping to get as much seeds as we can this year so we can reproduce and grow them again next year because they die in the winter. Thanks for seeing all of our fruit trees. See you next time. Subscribe.